Icebreakers are activities that you can do on the first day of class or even throughout the first few weeks of a class that help break the ice and ease any tensions or uneasy emotions that you or your students might be feeling. Now for us in TESOL, the goal of icebreaker activities is for us to establish a warm, friendly, and fun classroom environment where your students can feel safe and they feel like family. Rather than relating to each other strictly as classmates where there can be competition between one another, or rather than relating to you, the teacher, strictly as a, in an authority figure or professor know-it-all, where everyone is able to relax, to have fun, to feel safe, and to be known. All right, put your teacher hats on real quick. Uh, we're gonna do a teacher thing, okay, that you might recognize. Uh, we're gonna add some repetition to this, which will make it a little easier for you to remember these four goals of our icebreaker activities, all right? So I'm gonna repeat this one more time. Uh, we want people to relax, to have fun, to feel safe, and to be known, okay? Why don't you say it with me now, okay? We want people to to have, to feel, and to be known. All right, let's talk about using games to create a fun and exciting, energetic environment in your classroom. Now, if this is day one, it doesn't have to be all about language learning, all right? It can be about having fun. Someone once said that you can learn more about a person through a, an hour of play than through a lifetime of conversation. And people come to your classroom because they want to practice their conversation. They don't always come because they want to play and to have fun. First, some, it's not just a desire to practice their conversational skills, but it's a need. They, they actually need to improve their English conversational skills so that they can get that job or go to that uh, college or take their child to the doctor or figure out how to get help to know which bus to take across town. Your students have language learning needs. But at the same time, all of your students, every one of your students uh, wants to be known and accepted and loved. They need to find a community. These are also needs, and these needs are foundational. On day one of your class, these needs might be more important than getting the perfect pronunciation or knowing all about that particular grammar point. So don't deny yourself a chance to have some fun just because uh, you want to get on to the language learning or because you want to keep a strict, uh, respectful classroom environment where there's never any fun or joy, uh, let yourself have some fun. Let your students have some fun. So what are some fun activities that you can think of doing in your class that just simply get students having fun together? Hello, um, so my first day activities, I had a class of beginners and older adults. And because of that, they are very conscious of their errors or mistakes. And so I wanted to create an environment um, where they could feel comfortable and have confidence speaking in front of each other while having fun. And so the activity I chose was Move If. And this activity is where your students form a circle, either standing or sitting. And one student is standing in the middle. And that student can say things like, move if you like pizza or your hair is curly or you have children. And if any of those things apply to the students sitting in the circle, they have to get up and move to a new seat. And whoever's last has to stand in the circle and um, say something that they like. And so um, I did this activity with my students and we had so much fun. They were encouraging each other and um, I was a little worried with it being adults at first because they are older and I didn't know if they were going to be moving as much. But um, age is just a number and you should get your adults to move. So here in Honolulu, I've had the opportunity of teaching to 
mostly adult learners and some of my favorite activities that I've facilitated in these classrooms have definitely been ones that have been a little more silly and so maybe something like snowball fight where you have each student take a piece of paper and write down a question that they would ask someone they've never met before and so maybe they might write down where are you from and then they take these pieces of paper crumble them up throwing them across the room creating a snowball fight and then at the end of this each student will take one of the pieces of paper open it up and answer the question inside i know that sometimes as teachers it can be difficult for us to view some of these activities as ones that we can do with adults because maybe they might seem a little childish but they're actually really great tools in taking a rigid, strict classroom and creating one that's open and fun and just allows students to relieve some of the stress of learning a new language. It also allows them to do this in a way that is engaging and active. I know that for me, well, yes, I want each of my students to view me as their teacher, I also want them to see me as a friend who's going to create a safe space for them just to be themselves. Now, not every activity has to be a game. It doesn't have to have high energy in order to be fun and engaging. In fact, some of your students actually will appreciate it if you don't throw a lot of high energy activities at them on the first day of class. There are certain contexts where uh, you may want to actually avoid having lots of high energy, such as adult refugees who've just been resettled in the U.S. and may just be overcoming trauma, or their family members who are still in camps somewhere, still suffering and still being persecuted. You may want to think twice before you introduce a lot of yelling and screaming into your classroom if you want them to feel safe and secure. Not every activity needs to be high energy. Luckily, there are some games and activities that we can do that still help people to feel calm and relaxed and safe. I also want to talk about how to use art and creative expression to create a calm, safe, relaxed environment in your class. Now, any kind of art or artistic expression can be a great icebreaker activity. It can be a great language activity because it gets students expressing themselves, expressing their name, uh, who they are, details about their family, sharing those details with the class, with the world. Language is a very expressive behavior, but there are more ways that we can express ourselves than simply through the languages we know or the words we speak. And getting your students to become comfortable with different forms of creative expression, such as art, is going to make it easier for them to express themselves through a new language. Now here's an example of an art-centered icebreaker activity that our friend Emmy Mam uses in her classroom in Thailand. Hi, สวัสดีค่ะ My favorite icebreaker activity that I'm going to do for the first day, นะคะก็ um of course is drawing, you know, with the song and um drawing, you know, make fun and you know we learn together. Her name is his name is uh where he's come from or something like that. So this is a uh, make you know my student you know feel better it does not like a, oh my god it's good gamma or not no you know so that is mean i i love icebreaker activity is um drawing yeah i love it now i love that she used whatever materials that she had she didn't use anything fancy she used disposable paper plates it's what she had on hand, it wasn't expensive, and it worked. It even made cute little faces uh, when they were all done. 
Now, just like the classroom value signs that we looked at earlier, that Courtney made with just a piece of colorful paper and a pen, and eventually she got around to laminating them so they last a little bit longer and they look a little bit nicer. Basically very simple. Just like these, use whatever resources you have around you, okay? Look around you, see what you have. It doesn't have to be that fancy in order to work really well. It can even be hand-drawn. So what do you have around you that you can use to make something artistic with your class? Do you know where you can find some art supplies or craft supplies or some old magazines that you can cut up and let your students make into some wonderful, colorful little collages? Look for a chance to do something artistic and creative with your class as an icebreaker activity. I'd like to introduce one of my favourite first day activities. All you need is pieces of string or ribbon, but have them at different lengths. For example, choose one string. Okay, you choose this string. Let's see. You chose a very long string because now what you need to do is with this string, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Kim. I'm from Australia, but now I'm teaching in Bangkok, Thailand. I have three people in my family. Blah, 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 and they have to talk, 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 until it's finished. But if you chose the other string, guess what? It's only short. So it's, hi, my name is Kim. I live in Bangkok and blah, blah, blah. And it's finished. So it creates a lot of excitement and um, students can practice beforehand. My name is, I like, I am from, and then um, do it in pairs or they can do it in the big class. Another one is choose a color and talk about your topics about family or sport or hobbies. Anyway, that's some um, first day activities. Enjoy having practice doing them.